Hey, this is the InDesign helper. And today we are going to look at the type tool in InDesign. Over here, you see the type tool. You could press T or you could just hover down and click on this right over here. We have two different ones. One is the regular type tool. The other one is type tool on a path tool, which we will make a separate video on. So to use this tool, you'll notice that it's different from Photoshop or Illustrator if you've used that program before. So if I just click, it doesn't do anything. In InDesign, you have to click and drag. You always have to click and drag. And here you could just type in anything you want. So I could say hello, right? And I could just have it like that. You have your usual changes where you could change your font, the weight, if it has different weights, the size, you could change the letting. This would be the space between lines. So if I had these lines here and I increased the letting, you'll see the space between these two lines increase. Basically letting is the gap between when you press enter. Then you also have all caps making a superscript. This is subscript. This is basically slightly changing it, but in italicizing it. Then you have underline, you have strike through. Over here you have basically changing the individual shapes, well, the individual space between letters. Then you have the overall space. So like, let's say if I had it like this, if I select all of it, then you'll see that the space increases. You could also change the size of everything. Let me just show you right now. You could increase the height. You could increase the width. I recommend never ever doing this unless you want it to look playful and distorted and childish. If you're using professional design, you probably won't touch these two ever, ever. So I'm just telling you that. And then here, this is basically making it italic. I wouldn't recommend using this if you want to make it italic, but if you want to stylize it, I recommend going for it. This is the color of the actual font. This is if you have a stroke, this is something you don't need to worry about. It just helps with language. And then this is the alignment, middle align, left align, justify, justify middle, justify left. And then these are the indentations of when you have a new line. And then this is before a paragraph, after a paragraph. And this is something that you would need when you're doing editorial. That's why it's there. And that's why you don't really see things like that out in the open when you're using Photoshop or Illustrator. But that's how you use the type tool. If you want to see this next video, I'm going to make a video on the type tool for the path. <laughs> so check it out.